Hey, it's Sasha Evdikov, and thanks for joining me on this week's lesson. Now, this week, what I'd like to cover is the two main risks in the market, and they are systemic risk and unsystemic risk. Now, sometimes some people call them systematic risk or unsystematic risk, but really for me, I use the term systemic and unsystemic risk. So these are the two main risks in the market. And uh, you can, of course, use these two main risks and apply them to regular investments as well. So you can take these risks, systemic and unsystemic, and also apply them to your just general day-to-day -day life in terms of risk. So when we look at the foundational concepts of these two different types of risks, the whole point of knowing and understanding what they are is really just to see how you're positioned in the stock market and what risk and exposures that you have. Systemic risk, and basically the easy way to remember, is something that affects the system as a whole. So if you think about the stock market, if you have systemic risk like war breaks out, this affects the whole system of the stock market, or if it affects everything encompassing your investment. So that is systemic risk. Now, unsystemic risk, or unsystematic risk, if you prefer that uh, way of phrasing it, is really things that affect individual stocks or stock specific. It could also be sector specific um, uh, risk in terms of just maybe the tech industry or maybe just uh, the retail industry or something like that. Uh, it's really just encompassing just a very small portion of the market. So to simplify things, if you are diversified, let's say in your portfolio and you have a basket of five stocks, and then one of those has earnings coming out, that is unsystemic risk because the other four that you have are going to somewhat protect you because they don't have earnings. They don't have this uh, unsystemic risk coming out. On the flip side, if you have something like the Wall Street crash of 1929, then that is systemic risk. It's going to affect just about every stock out there and diversification is not going to help. The same thing with the Black Monday in 1987. Again, that's going to affect a huge part of the market. And even if you had 100 different companies, you are still going to be at risk because it pulled down the whole market. So now you might be wondering, what is it that you can actually do when it comes to unsystemic risk? Well, if it's unsystemic risk, like FDA approvals earnings, you probably guessed it. You can get out beforehand or have a basket of stocks to diversify. Or if you're looking at a global scheme of your investments, you can have other investments like real estate, coins, stamps, whatever it is that you're investing into. So you can diversify your investments that way if you have one thing going wrong or bad, other things are going to keep you diversified and balanced out within your investments. On the other hand, if you have something like 9-11 happening, you know, where two airplanes crash into the Twin Towers, uh, then that is something that is very tough to plan for. Of course, you can get some of the safer plays and stability plays uh, that maybe will kind of help cushion the movement in case everything gets sucked down or maybe get some inverse plays. But those are very difficult uh, things to time, you know, unless you start seeing slowly war breaking out. Uh, but usually a lot of that, those things that come are unexpected. So uh, what you could do is buy some options if you see some things coming in but it's very tough to plan for those other types of uh, systemic risk. So instead, it's better to diversify in other areas of your life, such as real estate or buying actually physical, tangible assets to where the value may not get sucked down or pulled down as much as, you know, uh, if everything affects the stock market. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this on tradersfly.com, good job and continue learning and watching some of the other videos and free lessons that we have available on that website that are also may not be available on YouTube. But if you're simply just watching this on YouTube and you wanna see some of the other great training material that we have, head on over to tradersfly.com by clicking this link and when you get there, enter your name and email address and you'll also get free training videos from my rapid recaps which are really in-depth market recaps on the current market conditions as well as some of the stocks that I'm watching. But if you just wanna hang out on YouTube, then you can click some more of the thumbnails right below this video and we'll continue learning and watching more great training videos together. Thanks again and remember to do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, go out, live life abundantly.